What up, though? It's your boy, Meech, a.k.a. The Seahawks Saint. Hope everyone's doing well. Time for another fragrance rotation video where I break down the fragrances that I wore in a given week. This week, we're going to cover Monday, December 18th through Saturday, December 23rd, 2023. Now, typically, these videos go from Sunday to Saturday, but I did not wear fragrance on Sunday, December 17th. It was more of just a chill day of movie watching and football, so no fragrance on the 17th. We're going to go ahead and start at Monday, December 18th and go again through Saturday, December 23rd. So without further ado, let's get into it. On Monday, decided to go with Mont Blanc Explorer. This is a fragrance that gets compared a lot to Creed Aventus. If you're in the fragrance community or have been for any amount of time, of course, you have heard of Mont Blanc Explorer. It is woody, citrus, aromatic, amber, musky. There are notes in here like bergamot, pink pepper, sage, vetiver, and ambroxan, of course. This definitely gives you that Creed Aventus DNA. Uh, it definitely is mass appealing. Smells very good, a bit synthetic, but I am starting to enjoy wearing this more and more. It does get compliments here and there. So I do enjoy this fragrance a lot. Decided to wear it on Monday, Mont Blanc Explorer. On Tuesday, decided to go with Fakar Black by Latafa. I recently did a video where I listed my favorite clone purchases of 2023 and Fakar Black made the list. This is Latafa's take on YSLY. You get a little bit of the EDT and the EDP with this fragrance. The apple on the top stands out. There's aromatics in this fragrance from lavender, juniper berry, geranium. There's vetiver, cedar, and tonka bean in here as well. This is just a mass appealing, fresh blue fragrance. Smells great. My son recently got his nose on this and he was trying to take this from me and I told him I had to get him his own bottle because I do like wearing it. It was a chill Tuesday, didn't have a whole lot going on so an easy grab and go wear for car black by Latafa. On Wednesday I actually had to go into the office for some meetings so I decided to wear a fragrance that is a relative newcomer to my collection and that is For Him Blue Noir Parfum by Narciso Rodriguez and this fragrance was love at first smell for me. Woody, powdery, iris, aromatic, and musky. There are notes at the top like cardamom and bergamot. In the mid, you get iris, musk, and suede. And then at the base, you get notes like leather and woods. I love the way this fragrance smells. It is well blended. This is the type of fragrance that is going to be a signature scent for me. It is going to be in the rotation heavy in 2024 like this one a lot for him blue noir parfum by narciso rodriguez was my wear on wednesday another relative newcomer to my collection is paris corners rafaka and that was my wear on thursday i'm still getting to know this fragrance a little bit through wearings and testing but so far so good. I like this fragrance a lot. This was actually a pleasant surprise. I kind of bought into the hype of this fragrance from reviews that I saw online. I didn't know much about this, but I like vanilla and I decided to give this one a try. This is a fragrance that is inspired by YSL's Baby Cat a fragrance that is hard to obtain in the United States. This is saffron, olibanum, vanilla, cedarwood. There's some resinous vibes to this as well. There's pink pepper and black pepper at the top of this fragrance. But this is really, to me, about that smoked vanilla. This is a more darker take on a vanilla fragrance, in my opinion. This is a fragrance that's gonna be more wearable, I think, in the evening, at night, maybe a date night type of vibe, but I like the way this smells. The longevity so far in my wearings has been at least eight hours, if not more, but that smoked vanilla is my vibe. I like this one a lot. Rafakot by Paris Corner was my wear on Thursday. On Friday, I didn't put on a fragrance to the evening, but I decided to go with Guest 1981 Los Angeles. If you're a fan of the Versace Eros DNA, Guest 1981 Los Angeles is going to put you in that mind frame. It's fresh, spicy, aromatic, warm, spicy, and fruity. There's plum at the top, which is great. There's mint, ginger, geranium, and tobacco in this fragrance as well. That mintiness, that slight spiciness that that gives you is evident throughout the fragrance. I like the way this smells. This is a very affordable cheapie. I bought this on Amazon for around $25. You can also find this in your local rack stores and it is definitely worth it. If you see it, you should grab it. Guess 1981 Los Angeles. 
And finally, on Saturday, I went with Camaro Home Intense by Pandora Sense, which is a division of Paris Corner. This is their take on Dior Home Intense. I've talked about this fragrance quite a bit on my channel. This also made the list of my best clone purchases of 2023. Like this fragrance a lot. I get a soda pop like fizziness at the top when I put this on my skin, but you got sage, lavender, and bergamot at the top. There's a hibiscus note in here, of course. There's that lipstick makeup bag type of iris, but then you get some leather and some woods in here as well. I really like the way this smells. Eight hours of longevity at least on my skin. This is a quality take on Dior Home Intense, in my opinion. One of my favorite buys for sure in 2023. And my fragrance of choice on Saturday, Camaro Home Intense by Pandora Sense. Well, there you have it, guys. My fragrance rotation for the week of Monday, December 18th through Saturday, December 23rd, 2023. What fragrances did you wear during the week? Feel free to throw those in the comment section. I'd love to hear about them. Be sure to check out my social media for more. Once again, it's your boy Meech, aka the Sea Saint. Until next time, take care. Peace.